Hello and welcome to my Opus Clip review where I'm going to be giving you a very quick overview about how this tool works then of course talk about is Opus Clip worth it. And before we begin I do want to let you know I will leave my link down below in case you want to test them out for yourself. They do come with the ability to get a free trial and that's always a good thing. Let's get started because this is going to be pretty fast and that's something I really like about this software right away is that it really don't need a whole lot of tech skills to you know get up and running. So so what I want to do is get a file here whether we take one from say Zoom, Google Drive or YouTube we can also just have a file here that we can drag and drop in there and what we're going to do is use that talking video and turn it into a short where we can get some really good clips and it's pretty much just going to do it for us automatically while captioning it of course we could do some other few great things then from there we can put it to different social media platforms you can reuse your content take long form videos turn them into shorts very quickly and easily so let me to choose a file very quickly All right so it's going to be uploading it says about one minute left i will get back to you when it is done and what we can also do is the processing time frame. So given the fact that when you purchase a plan here, you're going to get paid to use based upon the time, you don't have to go all the way through. So the least amount you do, the better it's going to be. But for this purpose, I'll do say like up to, I don't know, let's just do the whole thing, right? Why not? So our preferred clip length, if you're going to be doing a shorter type of video, I always recommend just about always like 30 seconds or less as well with 30 to 60 seconds. It's going to be up to you. If you want it longer, you can do those. Another great thing that you can do is just add specific keywords in there. So this one's about affiliate marketing. So if you want anything related to that, it'll go in and grab it. This is even better if you have a specific clip that's much longer and you just want to get to the sections that are going to be talking about that specific keyword. So if you did like a long video about sports, you want the clips that are just about basketball, you can throw that in there and that's what it's going to go after. So just kind of giving you an idea how that works. Pretty simple stuff, right? So get clips in one click. This is what we're going to do. It's going to take a little bit of time, but once we're done, once again, I will fast forward and we'll get to the end product. All right. And what I actually did is I uploaded one that I previously had. So I I personally didn't have to wait too long, neither did you, but just to make things quicker. So you're going to notice that what we have here are some of the clips here. There's going to be some options right here. So auto post and schedule, depending on the plan that you use, that's going to change. At the end, I'll give you a look at the pricing plans and some of the features. You can export as XML with Premiere Pro. You can download HD or you can go to the edit clip. Now, I do want to give you an advance. There is a section where you can edit it. Ironically enough, my computer is really uh, getting towards the end of its uh, life, I guess you could say. I got to get a new one soon. Every time I open this up while I'm recording something, it just won't do it. My computer isn't strong enough or capable enough. However, I did a separate video when it comes to like the editing and the B-roll. I can talk about that a little bit later, but the bulk of this software is mostly going to be right here, which is everything that I just did. And that speaks volumes to this, in my opinion. The editor was good, but I don't think it was anything that I would use religiously. I think the best part of this is just simply getting those videos and turning them into shorter videos. So you're going to notice here we also have our virality score. So the likelihood that this video will go viral on short TikTok slash reels. So there's going to be a few more. That one's going to be 84. This one's going to be 80. That's going to be 75. You'll notice there's going to be different times too. So this is going to be 26 seconds long. This will be 49, 48. Uh, 23 and 55. So this one I actually thought was pretty good. Another great thing is that it auto creates captions for you, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is stop talking and then you can actually, you know, see what this is all about. So let's hit play. When in reality, if you look at it, that's probably just one of the stupidest statements you can ever actually <laughs> comprehend or try and comprehend, right? I mean, affiliate marketing is pretty much you're selling something, you're recommending something to someone else, okay? There's millions of offers out there. Just look at Amazon and how many different offers they're shooting out every day or eBay. And then when it comes to the digital marketing world and the physical marketing world and like e-commerce and drop shipping, all it is is just someone else aside from the owner selling an offer. So it's not like offers are going anywhere and people are going to just stop selling on the internet unless the internet just like blows up somehow. Uh, I don't see anything like that happening anytime soon. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, you know, I don't see there being any other big changes while well, there could. And even if there was big changes, I don't see them really affecting affiliate marketers all that much. OK, the fact of the matter is that there's still going to be even more offers to promote. So in my opinion, the future of affiliate marketing is going to be even stronger. So when in reality, I had done this one as an example before, and I think the beginning was great because it offers a really good hook. And if you look right here with the virality score, it even says that, too. The video uh, effectively captures attention with a strong hook sentence challenging misconceptions. So I said like when in reality, 
reality, if you look at it, that's probably just one of the stupidest statements. It's probably you one of the stupidest actually... statements you could actually comprehend. Okay, so like if someone listens to that, they're like, "What is it?" You know, it's it's a good hook because it's curiosity driven. Like they're like, hey, "What's a really bad, you know, sentence to comprehend?" And then it goes on from there. Okay, so there are a few more examples like that. I said this is going to be a very quick review, and that's a very good example, in my opinion, of how it takes a video and then does more clips of it. I'm not going to go through and just like do the same ones because it's pretty much just going to be other clips of that. But I think that's really cool because one that can save you a ton of time. If you outsource that, it can save you a lot of money. And speaking of money. Let's quickly touch upon the pricing plans that come with Opus Clip, which are pretty good in my opinion. So there is a free forever section. Keep in mind, this has the watermark and you're not getting a whole lot of minutes per month. Not a whole lot going on there. It's kind of like just being able to use that. And as I've talked about in my previous video, I review and demo a lot of software tools. Anytime there's like a free account or a free trial, that's always a good thing. That means you can test it out. Make sure you like it before you actually get some you know, paid plans going on with it. So for the starter plan, it's going to be only $9 a month, and that's a very reasonable price. It's not breaking the bank or anything. If you're going to be doing that, you get 150 processing minutes per month. You get the AI virality score, which I talked about. You can import from four sources. You can auto post. There's the editor, one brand template. You can do the uh, filler and silence removal as well with the removal of the watermark. So a lot of people always want to know, how do I remove the watermark when I'm using the free one? You just upgrade. It's that simple. Okay. Then there's going to be pro. And at the time of creating this, there is a nice little discount. You can always like double this or triple this. So with just the one pack, you get many more minutes. So you get 300 processing minutes per month and you get a few other things. You obviously get the stuff in the starter plan, but this is what I wanted to talk about when it comes to like the pros and the cons. This is the one thing I disliked. However, at the time, I feel like they're still in the like beta version of this. What's going to happen is that if you want to utilize this, you can turn it on. And what happens is it'll find some keywords and then create some like B-roll footage for some of those keywords just to make your videos a little bit better, a little bit more enticing. I'm sure you've seen them before where say I was doing a talking face video and then I'm talking about a golf swing. It's going to showcase someone swinging a club just to kind of go hand in hand with it. That's going to be the B-roll. In my opinion, a lot of times it can be kind of hit or miss because you need to be very specific with the keywords that you use. Because if I said swing, you know, work on my swing, you could be talking about working on a swing of an axe when cutting logs, working on my golf swing, working on my baseball swing. So there's a lot of times where it's hit or miss. I think that it needs a little bit more fine tuning, but given the fact it's in beta, I'm not going to be too harsh on it. Overall, also, if you do want to get a nicer little discount, what you can do is go with yearly. And once you're going to go from saving 34% to 67%, and keep in mind, paying yearly is only going to be with the pro. Uh, this starter is only going to be with the monthly. So now that we've talked about some of the pricing plans and what you can look to expect when it comes to the paid plans of Opus Clip, let's answer the question, is it going to be worth it? And it's going to be a very easy yes. I really believe that this stands out when it comes to the ability to use AI and repurpose your videos from long videos to those engaging shorts with just a few clicks of your mouse. Its AI curation is great, which analyzes videos to identify and extract the most captivating segments, seamlessly creating viral worthy clips. Then there's going to be the AI B-roll feature, which which, you know, I have my thoughts about. While it still needs some fine tuning, I'd say the overall functionality and performance of everything else that comes along with Opus Clip is impressive. It supports around 20 languages and offers a variety of features like dynamic layouts, active speaker detection, and automatic caption creation, which you saw, and as you can see right here, which is pretty cool in the feature all itself. Opus Clip is a robust tool that promises and delivers efficiency and creativity to content creators. So yeah, it's definitely worth it, especially for the fact that it's also very price friendly as we went over. You can try Opus Clip today by clicking the link in the description to start your free trial. And that's going to conclude my Opus Clip review. This is one of those softwares where I feel like doesn't need to be too long once you understand how it works. And like, and if you need something like this, it's going to be a very easy decision for you. Like, do you have plenty of videos that you want to shorten and maybe repurpose on other platforms? Yes definitely going to be worth your time. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, once again, if you want to test out the free trial, that link is in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.